government must consult the people, I say by way of referendum, not by another citizens' assembly or some of these uh, bodies they set up just to get the desired answer they want and to placate some people. No, we want a proper open debate in this. We want an unhindered and unfettered media and we don't want hate speech dangled in front of us when we talk about issues that are affecting our families, our grandchildren and our generations to come. What do you think of the fact that a Red Sea poll found that about 75% of the Irish public think Ireland has taken in too many refugees in the last year and that also most people seem to have a sympathetic view of some of the migration protests that are happening around the country? What do you think of that? Well, it's very interesting, but uh, most polls in here are held by parties of the left and by parties of government that look at the poll when they want suits them. But this is a poll that has been literally pushed under the carpet. I'm not surprised. My own stance, and also the rural independence, from the start was I wanted a cap on Ukrainian refugees. Then I also have raised, and so has Carl Nolan and Michael Collins and Danny Hillary and others, have raised in the past about the inward migration from God knows where, with no paperwork and everything else. And above all, we see the deport deportation rate, the people who have failed to get asylum here, and are down for the deportation orders, and they're not being deported. It's just total open borders. We had one of the Green Ministers sending out a tweet in seven or eight different languages. People come to Ireland. Of the welcomes and plenty, uh, plenty for you all. This is nonsense. When we have twelve thousand uh, homeless plus ourselves, and the money that we're spending on this situation is unbelievable. Look, this uh, under the surface, I know all the time people are being silenced, they're being mugged, cancelled culture, the national, the, the, the national media, just disgraceful. All bought into this disastrous policy of this uh, flooding our country, changing our culture literally, and not having space or room, and not looking after the people who we take in, genuine refugees, not looking after them properly because we don't have the, the doctors. A uh, doctor, Mary Ryan from Tipperary, uh, and, and, and a respected doctor, came out yesterday and said this has had a massive impact on the, on the services, health services, and and health. And she asked for a, a full debate and change of direction. So. This debate has been stymied in here. We can't stand up and ask for this, which we have. We've been told we're racist, so we've been told that we're homophobic, we've been told God knows what we are. And this parliament is meant to debate. We're celebrating 100 years of our freedom, supposed to be, of our republic. And we're not allowed to debate these issues. 75% of the people told that poll. I know 70 and 80% of the people are aghast at what's going on. They just... No, we can't afford it. We haven't the facilities. We ha it's, it's not planned. And then we have greedy people, private developers have come in here. First of all, we had the open door. We had the people who offered their houses and homes. I salute them 100%. The island of the welcomes and the mail, sense of the mail. But now it's all developer-led and it's into big buildings and costing a fortune and rent and it's been done for money. Nothing else. But the government here that are off the day that he should go down where he is somewhere today on the border of, 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 of Ukraine. Again, dancing to the European tune. We have under, we're have one of three countries, I think, that we have rights to opt out of some of these uh, situations and we'll have to opt out because our culture has been changed. Our nation has been is plundered. We're just... Uh, Open-door policy is a disaster. The public don't want it. They'll find that out in the general election. But first of all, uh, the people must be respected in that poll. It's amazing how it was, it was just slipped under the carpet. I'm calling for a referendum to take place with the people to decide on our immigration policy and our open door policy. Put it to the plebiscite of the people and the government will get their answer. Not because we're mean, not because we're selfish. When we helped out before, we went all over the world and we did, but we worked and we didn't get handouts for nothing. So we have to be very cautious. We need a referendum here. And if we don't, we need a general election to get rid of this disastrous government. And, but on the other hand, we have Sinn Féin, the main opposition party. Uh, they're in the global sport as well. They're, they used to be an nationalist party. They're now a party of globalism. They're in, in hock with the government and everything else. And they just go missing and enough of people missing for the votes. And it's a phony opposition. So we're in big trouble here. All the, our main parties have abandoned the people, not serving the people they're elected to. They're serving our masters in Europe and beyond. So it's a sad situation. People need to wake up, and they are waking up, and the West awake, and we're all awake, and the wide awake, so government must consult the people, I say by way of referendum, not by another citizens' assembly or some of these uh, bodies they set up just to get the desired answer they want and to placate some people. No, we want a proper open debate in this. We want an unhindered and unfettered media and we don't want hate speech dangled in front of us when we talk about issues that are affecting our families, our grandchildren and our generations to come.